And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking out to the northeast. There's Galbraith School there in the distance. And uh, yeah, we had some sunshine today. We had some cloud. We had uh, some patchy fog was reported in some areas earlier today. Right now we're looking at partly cloudy skies. 15 is where we're at. That is our daytime high. We got down to one degree at midnight. Winds are out of the west at about 20. So temperature wise, not doing too bad. Average temperature for Lethbridge at this time of year is now 15 degrees. So, you know, we're all kind of in the range of uh, average temperatures for right now to the west of the Continental Divide. Some areas further west, closer to the coast, picking up temperatures near and uh, beyond 20 degrees. So they've had quite a bit of mild air that's still there. A lot of sunshine making its way down. Area of high pressure is here. Same scenario, same setup as we looked at yesterday. Jet stream coming right out of the northwest, sliding all that debris down. Right now it's just in the form of some patchy cloud moving across, but there is an upper level system that's embedded that's going to be moving down from the northwest to the southeast. Uh, starting tomorrow, we'll see a difference. We'll get into a northerly flow in behind that system as it pushes further south, and that'll keep us in single-digit values for daytime highs tomorrow. And the forecaster is just showing how those pockets of precipitation that will be attached to that system are starting to make their way down. And by Wednesday, we'll have mixed precipitation in the higher elevations, and we'll start to see uh, all of that have a potential to push further south. So in the overnight hours tomorrow night, even Lethbridge could see some mixed precipitation in the form of showers or flurries, which is why, as I was telling my cameraman, why I had my winter tires put on today. I know the forecast. <laughs> Take a look at the numbers down east, 8 degrees in St. John's right now. Frost warnings are out for almost all, well, half the province of, uh, of New Brunswick. It was all the province yesterday, but that's the only watch or warning that's in effect for all of Canada. A lot of cloud cover moving through eastern Canada because of that low pressure center that migrated across the prairies. It's now heading uh, east out of Ontario into Quebec, so it'll be affecting eastern Canada tomorrow. Three degrees in Winnipeg, double sixes for Regina and Saskatoon. Some shower activity in Regina right now, 7 degrees in Edmonton. And look at those temperatures on the coast. And even uh, uh, Kamloops was uh, 19 degrees last I checked. Uh, 6 degrees in Whitehorse right now with cloudy skies. It was sunny in Vancouver, I should mention that. And we've got some freezing drizzle in Yellowknife at this hour. Overnight forecast, East Kootenai are looking at clear skies tonight, 3 degrees for a low, mainly sunny tomorrow, 17 for a high. Your winds will be out of the west by the afternoon hours. In the Crow's Nest Pass, clear tonight, 3 for for a low tomorrow, mainly cloudy. Showers developing as the day progresses. Seven degrees for a daytime high. Medicine Hat looking at partly cloudy skies tonight. Three for a low, nine for a high tomorrow. Starting off with the sun and cloud mix. Showers developing in the afternoon hours. And here in Lethbridge, looking at partly cloudy skies tonight. Two degrees for a low, mainly cloudy tomorrow. Then we have that late day afternoon shower activity starting and that could extend into the evening hours. And then overnight, like I said, you could see some of that precipitation turning into some light flurry activity. It's not going to be here long, though. As you can see, we get back into lots of sunshine. Temperatures really starting to improve as we head towards the weekend. So that's the pattern for this week. Starting off, you know, nice today, a little chilly tomorrow, and then recovering as we head towards the weekend with lots of sunshine. Now, a lot of people are still doing a lot of traveling. And if you are and you're taking your dog with you, you might want to make sure that all the uh, vaccinations are up to date. And one that you might want to consider adding into the mix is the kennel cough vaccine. Now, it won't absolutely guarantee that your dog won't get sick, but it will certainly reduce the chances whether you're leaving the dog in a kennel or whether you're taking it with you because the stress from traveling can also trigger kennel cough. So it's a two-prong uh, illness there. So check with your vet and see what's appropriate for your furry little friend. That's it for me. Have a good evening, everyone.